We have a highly requested film breakdown today. We're going to be looking over the newest Nebraska tight end commit, Bear Tenney, out of Lone Peak, Utah. A guy who has offers all over the country, Georgia, Michigan, Ohio State, very sought-after recruit and decided to join the Huskers. So we're going to dive into his high school film, The Best of the Best, and dissect between the good, the bad, but most importantly, the stuff that we are super excited to see for the next three to four years. So really quick, before we dive into this recruit, make sure to smash that like button if you enjoy the recruiting content, along with hitting that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with everything Nebraska football, Nebraska recruiting, Nebraska rumors. I'm posting a video about the Huskers every single day this summer, so hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss anything. But... Without further ado, let's jump into it, looking over Bear Tenney. All right, let's start it off with this prospect. As always, I'm reacting live with you guys. First time I'm watching this, but let's just start it off. Excited to see what he brings to the table. And right off the bat, and you see his, let, his athleticism in the passing game, finds a crease in zone coverage, gets open. They're at wide outs. Nice little footwork. Again, he's a guy who's listed at 6'5", 250. It'll be interesting to see how much experience he has at wide out right there. You see the burners on too, man. He has speed. Tell me he takes to the house. Yes, he does. Give that a second look here. You don't see too many tight ends outrun an opposing DB. Look at that. And then have that. Manpower to drag a defender about five, ten yards into the end zone. It's a big play by Bear Tenney right there. So once again, Tenney is coming in from Utah. Nebraska's had a lot of success recruiting that state as of recently. They get a very highly sought after recruit. So they're at wide out. Oh, a little fade to the end zone. Nebraska fans will love to see that. Give that one more look. Just goes up and gets it, gets those two feet and bounce as well. So something that I want to see throughout his film, okay, we know that he is great in the passing department. He has good hands, clearly. He has good run for catch, as we're saying right now. But I want to see him in the blocking game. Does he have the ability to lay down a block for his quarterback, maybe make a play in the run game? Because that's something that Matt Rule asks of all his tight ends. You need to be able to block. No block, no rock. Let's see what Bear Tenney got. Love that play concept, a little play action, RPO. Bear Tenney once again wide open. Give that a second look, I believe. Hold on. Yeah, so he's making a block here just like I talked about. Yeah, pancakes to do. There we go. There we go. Okay, so here's the blocking highlights that I was just asking for. Definitely something you want to see. And if you have the ability to block an elite level at that tight end spot, you might play within your true freshman year just because of, again, how good he's blocking already on this film and because of the fact that he's 250. Not many tight ends that commit in high school are around that weight range. They're usually always underway about 210, 215. I know that um, Nebraska commit Carter Nelson, top 100 commit, he's about 220, right? He will probably not play his true freshman year because of that, and at least not at tight end, the traditional tight end spot. So, Bear Tunney, the fact that he's already this big and just bulldozing over guys, that's huge. Man, great hand-eye coordination. We've seen that a couple times, him just going up and getting a pass on the top shelf. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with his speed. He's shown that acceleration a couple of times here. That's just instincts. Let's see. There you go. Great play. But that's just instincts. I talk about this all the time. It's that IQ, that game IQ you want from your receivers, from your tight end. He sees that his quarterback is scrambling to the right-hand side. That means you have to scramble to the right-hand side as a receiver to get open and get a catch along the sideline. He does just that. Gets some separation, makes a great, almost a one-handed grab, it looks like. And again, once again, two feet inbounds. But yeah, already, I like the fact that we've seen a lot of him playing tight end, playing wide receiver, playing wide receiver X, even in the slot a little bit. And yeah, there you go. 
There you go. That should get you fired up if you're a Nebraska fan. Play till the whistle, even a little bit after. There you go. Love that. Get a little pre-snap motion. Yeah, I like these play concepts. You don't see too much of this high school ball. It's a little dump-off pass that'll work every day of the week. Back at tight end now. Once again, dump off and see what he can do. Ah, man, I was hoping we'd see a stiff arm. So a lot of times, and I'm going to save my final thoughts till the end, as always, but I would have liked to see him make a move there, you know, a little stiff arm, use his athleticism a little more, a little bit of his, um, again, his frame. But I'll save my final thoughts till we get to the end of the video where we go over the pros and cons, as always. Yeah, that's a nice block, though. We'll go back to that here. So watch him right here. Watch my cursor. Just completely seals off the edge. He has running back. Makes a nice play in the flat. Jukes off a guy and gets into the other team's territory. Yeah, just a lot of dink and dunks, though. One thing I'll say about Baratini as well is that his stats weren't phenomenal looking at them before we got into this film review. He only had about 300 yards last year um, receiving the football. Hopefully that gets bumped up to around 600 um, in his senior campaign, but nothing really to be worried about. Specifically, when you look at his height and his weight, you see him blocking. Um, there, he does a lot more than just catching the football. And they just do this play concept a lot. His little dink and dunk out routes let him pick up about five yards. Interesting. And that nice block there by Bear Ten. I don't know if you saw that. All right, we'll watch just a couple more and then I'm gonna to get to my final takes. There you go. Wow. All right, this next one is the last. Here we go. Another blocking highlight. Yeah, that's hard to do, man. He just won that rep against a big old lineman. All right. So that was Bear Tenney. Let's get into my pros and cons of what we just watched. All right, let's just start it off with the pros from Bear Tenney. Number one, the things you can't teach, height and weight. His frame is great for a tight end recruit. Listen, at 6'5", 250. Again, like I mentioned earlier, a lot of the tight ends who commit early in the process, they're listed at 210, 215, 220. And that's because they play wide receiver exclusively, and then they're going to play tight end almost for the first time when they get to college. That's not the case here with Bear Tenney. He's played traditional tight end. He's big. He has a lot of good weight on him. And really... He should be ready to play when he gets on the fall in 2025. Second thing I was really impressed with was the blocking. I didn't know what I was going to see there. I thought uh, maybe we'd see a lot more vertical passing highlights rather than blocking, but he is polished not only in the passing department, but yeah, laying down a couple blocks for his quarterback or a running back. Um, he was pancaking up a couple guys. He was playing after the whistle. That's stuff that you look for. You know, when we talk about big nasties on the O-line, you also want your tight ends to be big nasties as well. And that's what Bear Tenney is. Um, number three, something I was really impressed with. He had that good hand-eye coordination, that bowling, bowling ball mentality that, hey, the first guy's not going to bring me down. I'm going to drag him five, ten yards, get in the end zone. You know, Gronkowski type um, player. So really impressed with that. He had a couple snags where he just went up and got it. So that was another thing uh, in this game that I really liked. Now, as for the cons, maybe something that I'd like to see more of in his senior film. I wanted to see him make a couple moves, run after a catch, right? I talked about that bowling ball ability, but use your arm, stiff arm a man, truck a man, you know, do something um, to extend the play a little bit longer because that really is a trait that tight ends rarely have. Number two, would have liked to see a little bit more of the contested catches. Yes, he has the ability to go up and snag a ball on the top shelf, but in a 50-50 ball scenario, we only saw about one or two clips there. Uh, we'll, we'll like to see a little bit more of fade passes in the end zone, um, him just going up and getting a contested ball. Other than that, man, it was really good from a tight end recruit. I mean, the, number two, the number one and number two things I look for from tight end recruits, do you have the ability to block? And do you have good height and weight when you're getting on campus? He checks both of the boxes. There's a reason why this guy has offers all over the country. Again, Georgia, Michigan, Ohio State, 
Oklahoma, Penn State, everybody in the country offered this guy. There's good reason behind it. Nebraska just snagged a big one, and hopefully he will be catching touchdown passes for a long time for the Cornhuskers. So let me know down below, what were you most impressed with about Bear Tenney? Hey, if you made this far in the video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. And as always, folks, go Big Red, go Matt Rule, and see you in the next one.